Hello and welcome back to Mars. I'm Mick. We're playing Station Ears. And I just like sunrise. Wherever that is. Over there somewhere. Okay, so we've just finished our base, our, our Sphinx last time. We started building a new one. We got the structure up. We got some power in there, but that's about as far as we got. So um, uh, we've got to go do a bit more. Hopefully we can get our production then over to there. I won't have to come back here to keep grabbing stuff. Um, but our food and my drink is all done. I have got my garden is growing. I have got a few extra things in here now. I've got to the point where I can start canning food. Uh, so I'm producing food faster than I'm using it now. So we're doing all right. Um, but uh, yeah, so I'm make sure i still got water now hadn't i uh the plants and nutrition the plants actually use a fair bit of water now so um uh 56 liters that'll do for a bit longer uh but anyway let's get back to building now i did print off some lights and my solid fuel generator so uh i can finish building off the power and well yeah, sort of. I'll still need some more batteries to put in there, but uh, I can finish off the power controllers and everything else. Uh, now, I want power out here somewhere. Now, I had the controller, I think, just in there. If I set my generator, uh, power there. Data there, put you into there. I should be able to connect you into the power by the right tools. Connect you into there, connect into power. I should have uh, just down there, or maybe not. Uh, but your paint. Let's. Oops, missed. Uh, yeah, so you're just coming in there. They want you. Uh, yep, that is pointing the wrong way. That's going to go that way. Power into the top of that one might be an idea. Um, right, so that should be that all connected up. Uh, you've got to be painted. Right. No, 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 you go there. Ah, uh, okay. They are wired up. I had to wire you up to that cable there, which I have some more cables now, so I can do that. That will allow me to get a signal out of that system and into the main, main power bus. And I've lost my cutters again. Right. Now I think we've got everything. I just need to wire program you so I can get my last graph and get that happening. And you, know, you, you could go there, you go there, you. And they're not airtight, so it won't overheat that area. Okay, so I just need to program that last chip and we should be good. Uh, Okay, uh, I might as well do that now, hadn't I? Um, now I need the battery. The large station battery. You, so I'll need to read from them. Uh, clear, so we shall need to define the 
the battery to uh, that one. Now I shall need to alias the dis this display to G0 and I need anything else? Ah, oh, we'll figure it out as we go. Oh, I also need to know what the power was from the last cycle. So, uh, alias the old power to R10. Why not? We can just register for that one. I will name it because I do need to remember what it is. Okay, so we start. We yield to give it. Yield just allows it to wait for a cycle. So, the values can change. Otherwise, when you compare values from this cycle to last cycle, they'll all be the same. You just get a big zero. So we want to load, oops, load batch from the battery. Uh, that's why it's not working. From the battery, now load into R0 from the battery. The logic type will be the uh, ratio. And the batch mode will be the average. So I just want to know what the average charge is on the batteries there. Now that'll give me a rate, a number that is out of um, between 0 and 1. I went between 1 and 100, so we shall uh, multiply that by 100. And I can save to the display setting. We shall write that number to there. Jump back to the... Uh, Start. There we go. Um, export you. Yoink. Oh, my controller's upside down. Well done. So that one had to be the display. You. That's working. That's working. Nice. Now we want to get the other graph, so I shall set that graph to that housing and we shall say that housing uh, will so I'll need to know what's the current charge in the batteries uh, so we shall load batch from the battery uh, it's loaded into R0 into the battery we shall grab the, um, the ch charge and we shall grab the sum not an average, we're after, we're after the sum this time. Uh, now, we shall need to write that into the old power. Well, we'll need to need to remember it from last loop there, but first up, we've got to uh, subtract uh, R1, because I want to hang on to R0 for a little bit longer. So the R1 will equal the current charge minus the old charge which will give us a difference and we shall save that to the db housing setting r1 right now the current power which is r0 i need to put into the old power for next loop so move from into old power the current power which is r0 so the next loop around will have that power into the old power. And we should compare, compare that. That should work. Uh, yoink. What you... So we should have on here now is our current charge. Excellent. So you are working. I shall name you... The... Power housing, and you can be my solar. Solar housing. So I need to set you to the power housing. That should tell me how my battery is charging. It's discharging. It's night time. That is correct. If I switch off those graphs, it won't be discharging as bad. Don't you tell me to switch off graphs. Never. Never switch off graphs. 
Uh, right. So I can just put up some walls now and that should just about be done. So I need you and you. Uh, so. Go, um, you need to be painted green. It's super important if you're reading the green cable. Uh, if I can, there we go. Uh, oh, you're on the green cable too. Uh, you're on the yellow cable. You. Yeah, we'll say you're on the yellow cable. You're on the red one as well, but uh, we've got to pick one. Ah, uh, right, so we put a door on there, and everything will be lovely. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Uh, right, door. I do have some doors. That's an airlock. Um, door, there we go. There we go. Chuck some batteries in and we're all cooked. But I still need to put on the controller for the generator. But I think we're good for power at the moment. Now I will need to get you lot all wired up now. I'll need some stackers. Uh, stackers, shoots, I'll need a button. I'll need some IC housings. And, and some... Some consoles. Some hash displays. Probably a light. Ah, uh, well, the flat walls, I don't want them. Did you? I had shoots or not? Maybe not. Apart from those ones. And backers, they're yellow. There we go. Well, you, I, and maybe some steel sheets. Right, that's better. Now, we want you Layer you, layer you, layer, and you don't get one. Not that I'm playing favourites. Right, you're all set. Uh, I need to cable you up. I need the. I need some chips, some housings. Uh, which I do have four of them there. So one for each of the printers and one for the vending machine, which is four. That is handy. Well, can I fit one for the furnace in there as well? Uh, maybe. For chips, I shall need. And I'm a chip short. That's right, probably not quite ready for the vending machine just yet. And I'll need to build a vending machine. Uh, 
So that is just plastic, I do believe. And a screwdriver. Yeah, easy peasy. Lights in here would be very nice. Uh, right, you're all hooked up. I need to cable everything together. I need a button. A reset button for all of that stuff. On the consoles. I haven't got the consoles yet. I'll turn around. That is the way I want it. Nice. We need the button. We need the consoles. Which I probably don't have. Apart from those ones. We need to put you there. There. You don't get one. There. So I'll need hash readers for them. Which I'm pretty sure I don't have. Uh, now, um, I think we just cable everything. And I need a transformer and I shall need to bring the main power bus down. Okay, so... If you, I just need power. them all wired together. I've got to hook up them. I've got to hook up the other side of the button. Uh, if I can get in there. Two, two, and to you. You're now connected. Uh, though I still don't have power. I've got to hook them all up to those. First bundle. You, you, and probably straight down to there. Right, they're all connected. Now I just need to get you hooked up to these things. Oh, and to those things, and to that thing. And the power. Uh, a few done. I'll need a transformer, uh, which I do have. Um, which I can put. I wonder up here, I'll forget that I haven't switched on the power. Well, I want to put it up there where I can reach it easy. I'll put it down here. I can move it later. Try that one. And away we go. You, 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 you. 
Yeah, our power's going to be fine. Well, I suppose until we start switching all this stuff on. Now. You all the way up. Now you. There. Now we should have power. Nice, nice, awesome, super. Yep, yep. Bingo. No. Why no? Uh. Uh, awesome. Well, uh, I don't know. Let's switch you. I'm to wire up you. And I'll need to go to reach you. And you. You. Now, uh, cables. You back. Oh, maybe not there. I guess we go along with four for the rest of it. Um, I can. Right, you've all got power. I just need you, which I can take around the back that way. Powered. It's not powered. I didn't put that one in. Now it should be powered. We're on. Right. Now you things are not powered for some reason. Uh, maybe it's just because you don't have cards in there. I shall need uh, three hash cards. Right. <laughs> oh, I love. Yeah, just a bit of a shame that those parts don't quite fit around the bulbous buttocks. But anyway, can't have everything. Uh, so I need some. Ash displays, if I had some copper, yoink, you want to, and you, and a chip, ah, I actually want some more of them, that'll do us for now. Uh, okay, so now I can get, got enough there to get the printers uh, functional, but not the, not the actual uh, ingot vendor. So I've got the chip there, I'll need a couple more consoles for that. Uh, you, ah, I've got two, need one more. Oh, I need another console, another hash display. Let me put you... There and there, so I'll need another one of them. Uh, 
Nope, still no power. I uh, need some glass for you lot. And we should be just about ready to power them up. Well, they're powered up, but, um, you know, get them working. Yeah, there we go. I just had to build it first. Right. Now. <coughs> I'm just going to use my trusty old printer logistics group on them so we can get things rolling. I need to just pop all them open or they're going to give me troubles. Oh, now I shall run my trusty old printer logistics that has been developed that a while ago. It still, it still works. Uh, if I can find it. Print logistics at four. That'll do. It's on the workshop. Uh, all that one does is uh, is it uh, takes control of your printer and when it runs out low on ingots it'll request more from, from the vending machine. Uh, so I, I better export the code, hadn't I? One Export two and export three. Okay, that should be all we need from you. And we shall have a bit of naming. So we have the pipe housing. Yeah, pipe sorter. And have the pipe stacker. And of course have the auto lays. And the electronics. And the sorters as well. You are the auto lays. And you are the electronics. Right. Of course, once again, you are the autolays, the electronics housing. Right, so that should be all of you lot done. Put you on. It'll give me an error because I haven't set it up yet. We need the printer, which is the uh, hydraulic pipe bender stacker, which is the pipe stacker. Uh, pipe stacker, pipe sorter. I need the vending machine. I need the important button. Get I reset the chip, switch that on, you should be good. Right. And repeat for the auto lays. Uh, auto lays. Uh, auto lays stacker. A sorter. Um vending machine and the important button. But there it is. Reset you, switch you on, you're happy. Printer, which is the electronics printer. The electronics stacker. Uh, the electronics sorter. And vending machine is the important button. Excellent. Reset you. Away we go. So they should be all happily running now. Now I just need to set up these. You are the hydraulic pipe bender, so you go to the pipe housing. 
Uh, if I can find it. Safe housing. Yoink. You are the auto lays. You go to the auto lays housing. And you are the electronics printer. You can go to the electronics housing. I could also do this and set up tool printer there, but the tool printer doesn't get a lot of use, so I don't want to. Okay, so that should be all set up and running now. Now if I now close that up, it should try and get what it needs to restock everything. Uh, which of course is nothing there at the moment, so it's asking for steel. It's trying to get steel from here, but there is no steel in there. Which is a bit of a problem. So I'm going to have to go grab some ingots and stack that thing up. Uh, you know, I did have another stacker, didn't I? Uh, you? Yes, I do. I'll put you down there. And some shoots. I can just hook that one up. So I can just dump big stacks of stuff in there and it'll automatically chop it up into little manageable bite-sized pieces. You, 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 you. And come on, get it in there. Come on, there we go. And I'll need power for that. Awesome. Um, I hooked it up so power is a long way away. By a long way away, I mean just here. If I can get past the chutes. Oh, I've got to use my cable cutters. Uh, there we go. Nice. Set up. Get you to stacks of 50. And we're good. All right, get some ingots. Uh, so get rid of this crap. Uh, you, you. Let's go grab some ingots. Uh, I probably best finish printing off the stuff I wanted to print too. So I had my chip. I better change my battery while I'm here. Oh, well, that's not the one I want to change, but uh, we may as well change them all while we're here. Grab. Um. Suit. That's the one I want to change. There we go. Now. Why don't you... I wanted a console. And I wanted a hash display. Right. Uh, oh crap, is that all I got? Uh, steel. Right, I had a base over here somewhere. Oh, almost walked past it. Right, now I need to stack up my vending machine. Stick that front. There's 54 in there, but that's good enough. Now, 
that is looking for steel. If I push my important button, it should reorder it because it's now got steel. There we go, now silicon. Gold. I'm going to try and get 50 of at least gold, steel, silicon, copper in there all time. So as you can come up and it should already be stocked with stuff. It means you've got a lot of material sitting in there, but it's now happy. It's now happy. Uh, so I do the same for you. As soon as it runs out, it gets less than 50 of any of them. It should automatically just ask for another stack of them from the vending machine. And you shush. Right, you're all happy. You should now ask for some. And Oh, have I run out of copper? Ah, well, okay. I need to go get some more copper. But I now have you. Could have turned that up the other way. That would have saved me one piece of cable. I'll do that because I'm being cheap. There we go. Put on the hash display. And uh, you cables. You, 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 you. Switch on you lot. I can get it. There we go. Uh, a pit of glass. You. Nice. Yeah, how are we going? 39 and dropping, so I better switch this off or get some more solar panels or empty my waste tank. They're all good choices. Okay, so we now want this to tell me when I'm running out of copper like I have done. So this, I shall use my ingot vendor restocker. Uh, so you, boom, once again, it's an old trusted one that's on the on the workshop. Uh, vendor restock. Never right you. When you're ready. Okay. And now this one just decides how much you want of each ingot, and it'll tell you if you've run out. Uh, so steel, inverse solder, constantine, electrum. Wasp alloy, I don't want any of that in there. Alloy, astraloy, alloy, whatever that is, we don't want it. We just set our minimum numbers that we want in there and it'll stop and tell us when we're running out. Okay. Confirm that one. Sure. Uh, export that. Should be in there. And you should give me an error. Right, so now I have the uh, total counter and the, I guess that's the counter, isn't it? No, let's just do it that way. So it means the total number of that we've got in the, in the, uh, Vending machine because it can only hold a hundred, so you want to know when it's getting too full, and it'll tell you how much we count got of each one. So you are the vendor. I can set you up to the vendor housing. Now you need to talk to. The vending machine, the display, which will be the counter. Uh, 
dial we haven't got button we haven't got the total display called the total and nothing reset that one switch it on okay it's still well what we got we've okay we've got a total of two stacks in there at the moment all the rest have been used uh, it says steel we've only got one which is not enough so it's going to stop there and just um, hassle me until I put some more in there that's okay uh, so that is our vending stuff all good uh, so you want copper so I gotta go grab some more ingots is what I gotta do uh, back in a momento Do, 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 do. Okie dokie. And I don't have more steel, so it's just going to keep asking me for more steel. I guess I'd better go mining. Uh, probably think about how we're going to go 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 mining. I'll need to set some of that up as well. Right, now I've got 22 stacks in there and still not enough steel. But I can push the button and that one should get the copper at once. And the iron. And you're now, ha now happy. So we're all fully stocked. That is my printers up and running. Um, probably grab some steel sheets and finish off that little section. I uh, need more than two. I did have another stack there, which is down here. Grab you. Ah, uh, yeah, you're good. You're good. some walls and burn the cable you you and you ah the rest I'll probably just leave this frames right Put some lockers into here to hold all my ingots. Uh, now I need to do some work on my furnace. We'll probably get the uh, the ore collection done. If I've got enough space out here, I could put in a couple of Amy's and I could put some deep drills. Maybe around here, and probably a sort of system or something. Uh, I have enough space. Uh, is three wide enough? If I go three wide, I can just use a couple of hanger doors. 
just to ch close the place up. If I go five wide, I'll have to, well, put in bigger doors. Wow, it's another 50 plates. Awesome. Uh, now, if I'm going to pretty all of that up, I also need some walls. Uh, 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 if I had some walls, flat walls, more flat walls. Somebody should sort out these cupboards. I don't have any walls. Or I do have any walls and just can't find them. I might have to go make some walls. Or I could make them here. Okay, so now if I want teen walls, I just ask for teen walls and ask for walls. Uh, and it should give me teen walls. I probably want more than teen walls, but uh, that's not the point. Uh, now, I wanted my glass, plastic, and steel sheets. Okay, while I'm there, make myself some steel sheets. Awesome. And a door. I've got more doors, I know I have. Doors, there we go. I can cover up Oop, that. Nice. Uh, oh, thank you. Ten walls. Put up you. Uh, probably want some put windows in there. I want some more of them. see stuff sticking through there. Uh, all right. Let's put walls around there, walls around there, walls around there, windows there, windows there, and some steel sheets, so that would be handy. Put in maybe them there, 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 there. You now oh, run out again. ceiling in here, a light in here might be handy too. Uh, about there. Nice. Thanks. And some walls. Okay, starting to look respectable. Flat 
walls. I can put you large panels, that will be fine. Don't forget the light. I'm going to forget the light. Uh, lights, you. And some lockers to go in there. walls if I put my corner pieces on there finish it all off nice and neatly uh, you and on to you nice Probably put a roof on that as well. Uh, okay. You want to lay up, lay up, lay up, lay up. Nope, nope. Lay up, lay up. The light out to here. You, 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 you. Uh, that's it, you're done. Oh, uh, okay, more plastic. Right, so if I put a light. There. We cable over to there. Should have just there. I suppose I can build the new scanner lenses now to actually tell me where they are. Oop. I have light. Uh, I'm still outside, but I got a light. Uh, 38, 22, 50. Now, you, 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 you're done. And you. And we're all done. Do these ones. Right. Uh, let's grab some railing. Safety is important. Okay, got a spare one, that's all right. Into there, 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 and there. We're all good. Okay, painting time. ones under the printers and here we go you lot are looking all right and power is now going down uh, so I need to grab some lockers to go into there and we're probably looking pretty good then I've got to start well then I've got to go do some mining and get some more stuff to chuck in the printers. I'm running out. Uh, right, so, but... Uh, right, power's done, production's done. 
Uh, next stop will be my furnace. Or maybe get the uh, the other stuff done out here. Yeah. I've got some miners made up. Uh, but let's get them in, get them built, get a centrifuge in, and start splitting that off. I get Amy's in, so I'll need some more bits and pieces to build them, and I can get my production moving. And yeah, we shall get there. So I can probably put down a bit of a floor in here now. And yep, but anyway, all that switches off now with one switch. Lovely. Okay, well, um, that's about time. So, uh, I'll need to go do some mining. I shall need to go get something to drink and something to eat and pick my plants and go do all that stuff in between because that's pretty dull. Uh, but we've made progress. Uh, so, that'll do us. Till next time, happy building. See ya.